This is Girl Survives, broadcasting to anyone who can still hear the signal. I'm going to be playing a little bit of the aptly named Surviving Mars today, so I think we're going to have a really good time. I've played a little bit of this in my spare time, and uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it so far. Now, I think there's a lot that Paradox could do in order to improve the game further, and I'm sure that they will. Given their other games, I think that this game is likely to be updated and improved upon for a long time to come. And that's one of the joys about a Paradox game. You can be assured that they will continue working on any of their productions for a good amount of time and continue supporting it for a very long time afterwards. So that is a wonderful thing about it. Now, as I say, I have played a little bit of this, but I'm a bit of a nub, so I'm not going to go for the, an impossible start by any stretch of the imagination. In my experience, there are uh, three eyes that you need to stick to. The first is infrastructure. You absolutely need good infrastructure in order to ensure that uh, your colonists, when they do arrive, are going to be okay. The next is, of course, introduction. That is introducing the colonists themselves to your colony and ensuring that you exploit them in the best way possible. Now, I use the term exploit in uh, in the nicest way that I can think of. Uh, I don't mean working them to death. I do, of course, mean utilising them to their greatest skills in the best way possible. And the last is, of course, independence. If you can gain full independence from, here it is, Earth, relatively early on, then you're set for a pretty good time. So, now the easier start has you as the International Mars Mission and a rocket scientist. Yes, uh, absolutely, that is a lovely easy start. That's not what we're going to go with. I quite like the idea of Europe. Now, I haven't played as Europe before, but uh, I do think I'm going to this time. So, you get five extra starting technologies uncovered and you gain funding every time a technology is researched. Double if it's a breakthrough technology. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Uh, you start with uh, 600, 600 mil, 6,000 million, I, I suppose that is 6,000 million dollars. Um, you get uh, 400 research per sol, so that's uh, every day that passes, you will get 400 research uh, as a result of the fact that uh, Europe is funding you, which is quite nice. Your, retal, your rare metals price is 22 million, which is a bit lower than some. For example, the blue sun here gives you 30 million. Uh, and your starting applicants, you've got 100, which is a little lower than sun. For example, uh, do, 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 you get a goodly amount with some of the others. China, of course, has 200, India 150. 100 is fine. Should be fine. Now the commander profile, I quite like the idea of mixing Europe with Futurist, which is breakthrough technologies research 30% faster, and of course autonomous sensors no longer require power or maintenance. So we could set them up all over the map. It would be absolutely awesome. I think that's going to work for us. Let's change our colony logo. I quite like the don't panic logo. <laughs> and for a mystery, I'm going to go with, now there are three, we've got the power of three, science is no more than an investigation of a miracle we can never explain, and art is an interpretation of that miracle. In a light, seize the time, live now, make now always the most precious town, now will never come again. Ah, Jean-Luc Picard, you magnificent soul, and of course Gene Roddenberry as well, more Star Trek. It isn't all over. Everything has not been invented. The human adventure is just beginning. I, that sounds nice. I think we'll go with Beyond Earth. I don't know what it does, um, but I'm sure we will find out during the course of this playthrough. So, without further ado, let's get going. Now, we have a couple of things that we need to check on here. Uh, okay, so we've got a nice RC Explorer. Uh, that will allow us to uh, scooch around and find various different uh, breakthrough technologies, research technologies. Uh, let's see, now, this makes me wonder exactly what I want to do here. Now, I don't think we're going to need any orbital... Ooh, we'll take one orbital probe. There are some other things that I want, though which might make things difficult for us. Do I want a fuel refinery? Almost certainly. Do I want a moisture evaporator? Yes, I absolutely do. And do I want a drone hub? Also yes. 
we need these things in order to get going. If we don't have the moisture evaporator and the fuel refinery, we're not going to be able to send the rocket back to Earth. If we don't have the drone hub, we will have no drones at all. I would really like to get an RC transport, and I would also really like to get an RC explorer, but I don't think that's going to be within our capabilities. So, I think we will stick with our standard loadout. I think it's the only way that we can do it, so let's go to next. Now, with regards to setting a landing spot. See, now comes the fun bit. Do I want one of the standard starts? There are a few that you can choose. Uh, you can see that meteors are a big threat here. Uh, however, metals, concrete and water, that's all very, very nice. Uh, it's relatively flat. We don't get cold waves, we don't get dust storms, and we don't get dust devils, really. There are safer spots than this. Uh, puts in us a difficulty of 185% difficulty bonus. I think we're going to go with it. I'm concerned about the meteors. However, I'm also aware that meteors sometimes drop off additional metal, or they'll drop off additional research points uh, that you can exploit using uh, your RC Explorer. So, yeah, I think that's definitely worth a try. Let's start. Let's just try it and see what happens. I'm going to try and keep these episodes to... Welcome to Mars. Hello. Welcome to Mars. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo. Our remotely controlled eyes and hands of the, on the red planet. The drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavour will allow the brave pioneers, the Founders, to settle on Mars. The Founders are wise in all things, and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, oxygen, and power. Mission sponsor is Europe. We are a futurist. Okay, let's just pause for a moment, shall we? Now, the, we are ready to set down. Oh, we can already see that there's something quite interesting here. Uh, goodly amount of concrete there, but we do need to have a look at some of the other areas. So, more concrete. Okay, that's fine. Nothing. Oh my, that's terrible. Let's try going this way. No water. Now that could be a major concern. No water and no metal whatsoever. We can't just plop ourselves somewhere random. Uh, we absolutely can't. So, let's just take a look at these little areas. It appears to be that there isn't really much in the way of metal either. Uh, I was hoping that I would find more metal deposits on the floor. But, ah, water down here possibly. High chance of water. Concrete metals, concrete metals, metals. So perhaps there's going to be water here. We have to hope that that's the case. If it is, I'm far less concerned. What we'll do is we'll set up right about... Let's just see what kind of concentrations that we've got of... Okay, that's average. Again, average. Hi, here we are. And also high. So we're better off setting up near these two concrete deposits. I think. Let's just rotate the ship a little bit. About here is going to be fine. We'll put the drone hub down in between the two. Uh, they'll be able to collect a little bit of metal as well. Boom. Let's press play. Now we're going to be going quite slowly in this episode because we're getting our infrastructure together. Here she comes. Don't panic. We have to select a tech to research as well. Let's see what we have available. Uh, we have productivity tra training. Uh, that's for our people, which isn't that incredible, uh, at least in the uh, short term. Now, if we take Explorer AI, we generate 100 per sol for each RC Explorer vehicle. Multiple vehicles will result in collaboration losses. Now, that might be very good for us because we do have an Explorer AI on the planet. Live from Mars generates more applicants. Not useful right now. Uh, magnetic filtering. That increases oxygen. Advanced Martian engines. Rockets and shuttles require less fuel. That sounds quite useful. 
I think what we'll do initially, in the very early stages here, we will... Oh, what's this? Logi Drive, uh, an engine design. Drones and rovers move 25% faster. That's going to be useful. So we'll queue a couple of things up. We want to go Explorer AI, Logi Drive, Advanced Martian Engines, and then we'll look at the others in order to... We already have autonomous sensors, of course. Now, I think after that, it might be wise for us to take... Well, that's a Moxie upgrade. That's good as well. Okay, Polymer Factory. Again, it's going to be very useful. Isn't in the very early stages. We don't need subsurface heating because it's not that cold, and we have a low chance of cold snaps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll tell you what, let's just leave it at the three technologies, see what we get from robotics and engineering. That sounds fine to me. No resources in D4. Unbelievable stuff. Okay. Got a lot of tips here. Let's not worry about those in the very short term. Right, the first thing I want to do is get this fellow over here. Okay, let's click onto our build menu. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a drone hub down very, very quickly. So let's put it right about, in fact, perfectly between them would be ideal, wouldn't it? Let's just see if there's any other resources that we've been missing out on by not placing it in between them. I think right... Oh, we could move down a little bit. Oh, yes, that looks ideal. Uh, that's going to cover us quite nicely. Perhaps move it away one or two and plonk him down. Excellent. So our drones are going to do what they need to, but we need to ensure that they've got somewhere to put all of their uh, ill-gotten gains. Now, one thing that I like to do is I like to put a metal depot here. Uh, on the other side, we're going to put a concrete depot. Now, there are various other things that we uh, we do need to concern ourselves with. Of course there are. But we can cater for those with universal depots. Ooh, that's going to overlap slightly. Uh, we'll put the other universal depot here. That's fine. So our rovers are going to do what needs to be done. You can see the prefab's gone down for this. Now, we're going to need power for this. In fact, it's telling us that we're going to need power for it. The first things that we should probably do is get solar panels. It's a short stopgap, I suppose, solution, because we also need wind turbines. But, right away, I think a few solar panels are going to be good for us. These come in a triangle shape, so let's uh, do that. And we could also make some wind turbines going the other way. That sounds nice, doesn't it? There we go. That's going to give us a short, consistent power boost. Excellent. And we've got our little drones uh, doing what they need to do here. They're welding things up. They're getting what needs to be got. And what you could do, my little drone friends, who aren't appearing to do anything, is you could go over here grab some of that. If you really wanted to, little drone friend. Or you could simply do nothing. We'll let you do what you want to do. We'll, we'll speed the game up a little. Now, other things that we are going to need uh, are concrete extractors. Now, we can absolutely do something with the concrete, concrete extractors. Let's make sure that we get the maximum bang for our buck here. We've discovered... A magnificent oh. vista at the site of the anomaly. We've discovered a magnificent vista at the site of the anomaly. Even after watching the cold splendor of the Red Planet for so long, Mission Control was awestruck by the beautiful footage provided by our intrepid reconnaissance vehicle. Fifty new applicants are available on Earth. That could be very good for us. That could be very, very good for us. Right, back to the concrete extractor. I think if we pop it right there... That's going to be perfect because it's going to allow us to get more concrete in a little while from the other side of it. Right, let's ensure that we've got a bit of a power cable going to it. Boop, that should be enough. But there are more things that we're going to need. So how about we expend, extend our power cable a little bit this way? Now, 
we have some prefabs that we could do with using in order to make sure that the rocket can get back. We need a fuel refinery. That looks like a nice spot for it, doesn't it? But to go with a fuel refinery, we also need some water. So let's get this water evaporator. Again, that looks like a nice spot. Pop it there. But there is no piping. Let's get some piping. And there we have it. Now we can see it's night at the moment and that's why our drone hub isn't working right now. Don't worry about that. How are you doing? You've still got a fair amount of power left, so let's go and take a look at what this might be. This says we might th this research might lead to a breakthrough. That's amazing, especially in the short term. And our drones are still bringing the resources to us quite nicely, quite happily. Minding their own business, colouring. Now, perhaps it would be wise for us to grab ourselves one more wind turbine. There we go. Three and three. That's what we like. A little bit of continuity. What do we need? We need concrete and we need machine parts for each of these. And we simply need metals for these. Now metals, they've been easy to come by in the short term, as you can see. There's some here, there's some of it. Your metal, aren't you? Yes. Some over here, so not too bad. But what else can we build that is going to aid us and that we know we can build with no real cost to ourselves? Well, a sensor tower. It does cost an electronics, but nonetheless, it's going to be very, very useful in both the short and long term. Let's pop it right there. Doesn't cost us any power, doesn't cost us anything to run, no maintenance. And we're, we've, we're already looking for a breakthrough. That's remarkable stuff. I'm very, very happy with this. Let's... We're at medium speed at the moment. We're probably going to want to go to Breakthrough discovered. Oh, what is this breakthrough? Sustained workload. Doubles the performance, performance bonus when colonists are working on a heavy workload. When every citizen knows that their efficiency more or less impacts on the survival chances of the entire colony, it becomes a matter of pride to work hard. That sounds very good. You're going to have to hear a little bit of a difficulty here there we are my apologies for that i had to move my mic around in order to get to my television because it was telling me it was going to turn itself off that'll cost 1400 hmm interesting now we do need our concrete extractor as soon as we possibly can it's got nearly everything that it needs should we go into high speed yes i think we should let's get all of these little bits and bobs finished you can see that this is producing fuel. And we of course have our moisture evaporator working very hard. Oxygen can be extracted from the atmosphere by moxie. Since it's crucial for the survival of your future colonists, an oxygen tank for storage is highly recommended. Pipes used to connect all life support buildings. In the, in the very short... Oh, that was a meteor strike. <laughs> Okay, well let's grab our RC Explorer and we'll move it back to somewhere where there's cabling in order to ensure that it recharges. There we Sector go. scanned. Anomaly found. Select a sector to scan. Excellent. Now let's uh, zoom out and choose some sectors to scan. Now we know that there's a high chance of finding water here. Concrete metals, concrete metals. So... Let's get quite close to our base. That gives us all five things that we want to do. We've, of course, got our sensor tower up, so that's going to give us a nice boost. 176% boost to our scanning. Oh my, we definitely need more power. Okay, so. We've been told that getting a moxie would be a good idea. But I'm of the opinion that before we do that, it might be wise. Oh, blocking objects, of course. There we are. That'll do. 
probably the most efficient thing for us to do in the world, but there we are. Let's get some more power production up. Another four of those. Excellent. And... We will take three more solar panels. That's going to be plenty of power production. And now, there it is. We have our concrete facility working quite nicely. We should probably get a little dumping site next to it to ensure that there isn't too much dirt and mess. There we go. That dumping site should be enough. Our little drones are picking up all the metal. Lovely. Well done, them. And our RC Explorer is ready to go out hunting for more anomalies. Good. Okay, so... How do we want to go about making some nice production as we've been asked to do? Sector right. scanned. So water towers, we've already been told that they're very important. Oxygen tanks. Water extractors, not much good at the moment. Sector scanned. Oh, there was no water. Damn. It appears as such that we might be quite reliant. Uh, high chance of water over here. Research complete. Oh my! We can queue up so many. Usually you can only queue up four, but anomaly I analyzed. Ah. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Even the tiniest, simply-looking rock can contain the answers to mysteries which perplex the human mind for generations. Sometimes it can take just a simple discovery to assure us of the vastness of the universe, an encouragement to make us look beyond the boundaries of our existence and into the future. So, what do we get from that? The effect is the following technologies have been revealed on the research screen. Adapted probes, drone swarm, low-G fungi, low-G high-rise and systematic training. Let's take a look at them in the research screen. The probes, I don't need to concern myself with. Drone hubs are constructed with an additional two drones. That's very useful. And the maximum number of drones is increased to 80. Again, very nice. Uh, we don't have an RC transport, so that one's not much good to us. Systematic... Hell yeah, I'm a botanist. Fear my botany powers. Oh, The Martian. What a lovely film that was. I enjoyed that. Um... Now there is a new building here, the farm. I think we should uh, we should queue that up nicely. We're getting 500 per salt, so it's going to take us a couple of days to get the low G drive done. Not a problem, not a problem at all. We'll just keep those three in the queue right now. I don't think this is any good to us yet. It certainly will be, certainly will be, but it isn't quite yet. Ah, lovely farms. Excellent. So we've got our storages. We know what we're doing there. Concrete, metal, etc, etc. <laughs> so it's now time for us to think about getting power accumulators in order to save up power. That is... Yeah, I think that's going to be priority number one. So let's build ourselves a little bit of infrastructure to allow that. We're going to come down here with a power cable. Sector scanned. And grab one or two power accumulators. Hopefully there's a bit of room here. Yes, there is. I think three is going to be ideal. Now, there are other things that we need. For example, moxies. They're likely to be in life support, I expect. And water towers. There they are. So, let's see if we can fit them in nicely. Boop. Ooh, that looks perfect, doesn't it? Let's pop a moxie there. Is one moxie going to be enough? I expect it will be in the short term. To go with a moxie, we could do with an oxygen tank. Nope, that doesn't look right to me. Oh, that, that, that'll have to do. Putting everything so close together is probably a bad idea. Uh, I do hasten to add that by virtue of the fact that one meteor, of which we know they are common, that could take us out. That's a terrifying prospect, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? 
bat. What's the point in playing games like this unless you're willing to be a bit of a sausage? Right, there we go. That should give us power. Now, sector scan. I always think it's nice to run pipes in the same place that you run everything else. So if your power cables and your pipes can go in the same direction, like so, I just think that's a huge benefit to you because at least you've got an idea where everything is. There we go. So we're getting our oxygen generator down, oxygen tank down, and a water tank to save us any excess. It's producing one, the demand is unfortunately one. So that puts us in a difficult position. Let's hope all of this gets uh, scanned faster and we do find water. Uh, we can change priorities. I don't think that's necessary. It says priority is set from the info panel of individual buildings and constructions. Drones will try to complete higher priority tasks before the lower priority ones. Buildings with higher priority will receive resources and power in the case of shortages. Again, not, uh, not too important in the short term. We've got 26 of the 60 fuel required. Any research nearing completion at the moment? Let's take a look. Logi Robotics is next. Advanced Martian Engineering. I'm looking forward to getting that because that should... Yes, it will reduce the amount of fuel required down to 40, I think. But don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. I have been wrong before and I will likely be wrong again. There we go. Let's keep that scanning going. I think we may as well just fast forward a smidge. There we are. Still haven't found any metal deposits either. Sector scanned. Nothing in that sector. Oh, we're not having a good time. Not having a good time at all. What do you mean you've got no pipes? Look, there's quite evidently a pipe here. What, what are you complaining about? Must be connected to an oxygen producer. What, what do you think this is? What do you think this pipe is? Oh my lord. Sometimes. There you go. How's that for redundancy? Now be quiet. <laughs> we may have to get more moisture evaporators. Okay, in the short term we're doing absolutely fine. Research complete. Research Logi, Logi Drive, which is excellent. Let's see what else we've uh, discovered as a result of that. Hmm. The drone hub, that's going to be useful. It's absolutely going to be useful. Explorer AI and Logi Drive. Very good. So everything moves a little bit faster. Logi High Rises, uh, once again, potentially very useful. Because I've got this on the research, I don't feel the need in order to get the fungi. Magnetic, fil magnetic filtering, again, not too concerned. Do you know what? We haven't had any music on for a while. I, I don't know why that's the case. How do I look at music? In here? Oh, let's put Surviving Mars on. Such nice music as well. I'm so sorry that I missed that. Mind you, I've been talking to myself for a while, and uh, it's hardly surprising. <laughs> talking to myself is one of my great skills. Sector scanned. Ah, metal. It has the potential to be quite useful. Only low grade. Got a high chance of water here and down here. Yes. So somewhere here there's got to be water. Must be water. But in order to be able to exploit that successfully, we are going to need more drone hubs. So we'll do it that way. Yes, that looks good. What kind of surplus of metal do we have? Uh, not that much. Oh no, no, we're fine. We're fine in the short term.
drones are working nicely and effectively. And, ooh, interestingly, it looks to me like cable the rocket fault is reported. getting there. Oh, got a malfunctioning cable. Now that can sometimes cause problems for the colony because malfunctioning cables, if they're not repaired quickly, or malfunctioning pipes for that matter, they will cause a problem. We do have an oxygen surplus, which I like. You can see that we're storing some oxygen here. I don't think we're going to be storing any water. No, not at all. And that's why we absolutely need water. There goes another one. That's a lot of meteors. Oh, go on, find me water. Stop a few of these. There we go. That's how we'll do it. Try and show them the sector scanned. Ah, we have found water on Mars. There it is. It's low grade, but there's 13,000 in there. We must exploit that as soon as we possibly can. So. Let's start thinking about how we're going to do that. We need this one next, and then we'll take farms. That's how we're going to go about it. I'm trying to be very circumspect and careful about calling anything else from Earth yet. We could outsource research. But is that a good idea, given that we've only got uh, 4,000 well, four thousand million uh, dollars. If we do outsource, it's either one thousand or two thousand of those gone, and we very likely will need more materials. Very likely, forty-nine of sixty. We'd send the rocket back soon. I expect that we've still got a power surplus at this uh, at this juncture. Oh yeah, still eighteen point two. That's very good. Very happy with that. Everything is working as intended. I'm not making that much concrete. What are you making an hour? Are you making 24 a day? I like to get waste rock liquefaction, ideally. Now, the reason that we're waiting around and not doing anything else quite yet is because we need the drone hub upgrade. Uh, well, or the drone hub research. Otherwise, we're, we're simply not going to have enough drones to be where we need them to be in order to get that water. Uh, so that is the next major drawback for us and the next major waiting session for us. Uh, the advanced Martian engines, of course, is going to be very useful to us because it's going to allow us to bring rockets to Mars and, of course, send them back quicker. Uh, that's going to be useful. Soil adaptation, as soon as we have colonists, it's going to give us a greater variety of crops. And of course farms. Uh, that's going to be great. Extremely useful for us. But I think that is likely all we've got time for in this episode. I think we've done well at starting the first eye, infrastructure. It's going to take us a little bit more before we are ready to bring any colonists. Uh, we're likely going to place a dome somewhere around here, which is going to be nicely between our initial infrastructure and the water. I think that's going to work relatively nicely, but as I say, we'll need to do a little bit of research in the meantime, and we'll need to continue setting up in order to have our colonists arrive. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it from me on Surviving Mars. Until the next episode, stay alive. But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life. Now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have.